Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, today we're looking at one pavilion place. It's in Banawa, Cebu City, the Philippines. I did a previous video about uh, the rentals of a one bedroom and two bedroom condominium here and they were owned by one pavilion place. And I'll give you information, a little bit of information about rentals by uh, private individuals a little later in this video but uh, we're going to focus mostly on the those that are for sale at the present time. This is a very nice uh, two-story development and uh, the little cabinets on the side there that's your water meter and main shutoff valve. You also have a main shutoff underneath your sink which is nice. This unit is a one bedroom ready for occupancy. Uh, for sale. Uh, the one bedrooms uh, are generally about 37 square meters or about 400 square feet. I believe they have about 500 units in the building, one and two bedrooms, and I believe 10% or more of those are still up for sale, so more than 50 are still up for sale. The listed price of these units, uh, one bedrooms, uh, will vary based on location and exact size, uh, but they average about 3.3 million Philippine pesos for the one bedroom, or about 66,000 U.S. dollars uh, at uh, 50 pesos to the U.S. dollar. I do like the fact that they include uh, many, a much larger kitchen area, many more cabinets than your average uh, condominium development out here these days which usually supply you with a very small amount of cabinets, very small amount of uh, kitchen space there uh, for counter space. Uh, this cabinet was included. Uh, it seemed to be reasonably good quality. The fold-out windows on the sides open up so you can get some uh, air circulation if that's what you want. It is set up for split type air conditioning. Those little holes right in the center top are for a split type air conditioning uh, unit to go in there. And then I'll show you a little later, there's a, there's a place in the bathroom where your compressor sits outside. And they have units with a sea view like this and also with mountain view. One of the buildings in the background there was the Crown Regency on Fuente Osmina Circle, so it's not very far from that area, uh, which also has a couple of uh, smaller Robinson's Malls. You're really not very far from, from anything in, in Cebu City because Cebu City is a small, big city, in my opinion, and uh, you can get to almost anywhere relatively quickly, depending on traffic, of course. The lower couple levels of one pavilion is uh, kind of a mall type atmosphere. It's got a large Gaisano grocery store, uh, several restaurants, fast food places, a clothing store. And here's the area in the bathroom. The, the window there in the bathroom opens up to this area and uh, gives access to the uh, air conditioning, the split type air conditioning compressors. You can see a couple of them sitting out there on the rail out there. Uh, held up there. You would purchase and hire an installer to put it in. And there are the uh, holes that are placed in the wall uh, to put your unit up, up in the wall. This one is in the living area and then there's another one in the bedroom so you can have the airflow in both of those areas. You don't have the noise of a window air conditioner. Um, I'm just amazed how many places still use window air conditioners. They're inefficient and they're noisy. I did not get to look at a two-bedroom unit uh, during this trip, but two bedrooms are from 50 to 56 square meters, which would be the equivalent of uh, 530 to 600 square feet. And they would range between uh, right around 5 million, a little over 5 million, or about 98,000 US dollars. And there again, the price changes by area of the building and square footage. I will leave the contact information of the lady who showed me these uh, condominiums in the description of the, of the video. 
I believe that she has information on uh, selling prices of, of houses, condominiums, lots, all that type of thing uh, in the Cebu City, Mandawi City area uh, for sales as well as rentals, I believe. They have a pretty well equipped gym and a very nice pool up here. As you can see, looks like you could swim right over the side there, but uh, actually you can't. There's a there's a ledge, some stairs, and a ledge over there. Uh, but it is nice that uh, in the afternoon you get this you get this shade, so you're not sitting out in the sun. Uh, but you cannot. It's a little bit of a wall effect, uh, kind of a nice uh, watch. Uh, listening to the waterfall there as the water goes over the edge. And look at the towers again. Uh, the corner units have balconies. Of course, they're going to be more expensive, probably, in most cases. And for rentals, you have some rentals that are owned by one pavilion. And I think there was over 20 rentals by private owners. And there again, the broker that I used had a, had a list of uh, owners who had rentals. I did look online. I looked on Booking.com, Lamudi, Airbnb. And there were, there were a couple listed for this place, but uh, by far not all of them. So somebody like this broker would have additional information about rentals in these places. I think there are more than a couple other uh, condominiums being built in the area. The building that right there on the left is Sundance Condominium. It is now occupied. And uh, I've, I've seen one rental in there also. Uh, back in the distance, way up on the hill up there is the Marco Polo Hotel. Give you an idea where you're at. And another look at the towers. I like this place. And here's a look at the lobby. They've got security. They've got backup generator, 100% uh, for the units and the common areas is what I've read. Uh, very nice pool, a nice gym. I walk to Fuentios Mina Circle from here, but I don't think the average person is going to do that. I, I like to walk, so it wasn't a problem for me. I could walk uh, 5 to 10 kilometers a day, and I would enjoy the time, but uh, most people wouldn't want to do that. So one pavilion place. Uh, I'll leave the contact information of, of the lady that showed me around. And... Uh, Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share the video. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at, and we'll see you next time.